Hello and welcome to the Calculus Formula Program for your T84 Plus CE or T84 Plus CE Python Calculator, available from mcstutoring.com. And remember, free updates for life. So once you buy this, as we change it, you're going to get free updates. So don't worry about that. Let's go to the basic uh, menu. So we've got uh, everything you need basically for Calc 1 and most of what you need for Calc 2 class. That would be covering AP Calc AB and a bit of AP Calc BC. So you got the basic derivatives right here. Um, the big thing here, probably the uh, product rule and quotient rule, a little difficult to memorize, and the derivative of the absolute value of u. It's pretty cool. u divided by um, absolute value of u, all that times u prime. So get started right on the basic derivatives. And we got the trig derivatives in their glory, saving you from having to memorize those. And then we also have inverse trig derivatives. Now, by the way, this is old school, like arc sine. I know uh, you kids nowadays call it inverse sine, inverse cosine, inverse tangent. But don't worry, it's called inverse trig derivatives at section, so I'm sure you can figure it out. Um, this little, oh my gosh, this looks like something from um, Space Invaders before you were born. Um, that's an asterisk uh, implying multiplication here on the calculator. Sorry about that. Blast from the past. So miscellaneous uh, derivatives. Um, these sh have shown up on students' finals, so that's why I'm including them. Um, derivative of ln u is u prime over u. You probably already know um, derivative of e to the u is e u times u prime. Um, the big thing is this a to the u. Man, this is ln of a times a to the u times u prime. And then log, if this is considered like log base a of x, it's 1 over ln of a times x. So just keep that in mind. Um, that's what all that stuff means. Now the limits. So L'Hopital's rule, just in case you forgot, I think this is like end of Calc 1, maybe beginning of Calc 2, talking about indeterminate forms. L'Hopital's rule, it also called the hospital rule, the hospital's rule. Um, just roll with it. It goes by three different names. So it's the limit of f of x over g of x. And if it's 0 over 0 or inf over inf, which means infinity, you don't have an infinity symbol on the calculator as far as I know, on this one at least. Um, so infinity over infinity, then it's the limit of f prime of x over g prime of x. And the common ones, and th this, look, this one guaranteed, almost guaranteed to show up on a test, quiz, or final. The limit is x approaches 0 of sine of x over x is 1. And then we've got these other various um, common limits for the Hopital's rule right here. So again, it, it takes the burden away from having to memorize stuff. Just as long as you know how to do stuff in calculus, you're pretty good. Um, now, integration techniques. Now, I've got u substitution. So when we have f of g of x times g prime of x pattern, you let u equal g of x, du equal g prime of x dx. you got integration by parts also. Um, integral of u dv is uv minus integral v du. Now, look, I I do not remember this, but I've, I've learned it since then, the Liate method. When you do this u substitution, um, you'd want to go logs first, inverse trig, algebraic expressions, trig expressions, and exponential, and choose u in that order. Basic trig substitution here. There's also, um, I think, a, a secant one I left out, just because these two are, are more common. Trying to get the more commonly occurring trig substitutions here. So there you go. Now, um, let's go over the reminders. So. Everybody's like, oh, I get it. Derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. Ha, 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 ha. So sine of 7x is cosine of 7x. No. So I put this big old butt here. Big old butt. So look, derivative of sine u is cosine u times u prime. So an example of this, if you have the derivative of sine of 3x, it's cosine of 3x, yes. But then times the derivative of this inside the parentheses like this, 3x. So derivative of that 3x is 3. There you go. You're covered. Now for the integral page. Boom. Got a lot here. I got the basic integrals. Um, you've probably already seen this. Um, cool thing here, um, we got integration by parts. And then I, I do this plus or minus thing um, right here. This means this plus minus is red plus or minus. So it's the integral of f of x plus or minus g of x dx is integral of f of x dx plus or minus integral of g of x dx. So if it's a plus here, it'll be a plus here. If it's a minus here, it's a minus here. Okay, good. Just want to clear that up. Now we've got um, trig integrals. We got them all. We got them all, baby. So we've got, you know, integral of sine x 
dx is negative cosine x plus c. Just remember to keep putting this plus c. I got burned because I was not paying attention to details when I was your age. So I don't want to wag my finger. I'm just telling you I made that mistake. So it's a good thing we have it here. So just scan it to help you out. And then um, inverse trig integrals. So th this is cool because it helps identify because you're like, man, what happened? I got this integral of du over square root of a squared minus u squared. What is that? Oh, that's arc sine u over a plus c. Or for the new people, inverse sine u of a plus c. Okay. Then we go on, exponential integrals. So this is cool because if it's just e to the x, um, integral of e to the x dx, it's e to the x plus c. The cool thing is, watch, if it's e to the u, it's got to be du. So that, that's how it's going to probably show up on the test. It doesn't have the du, so you've got to manipulate it a little bit. you learn that um, later on in Calc 1, okay? And they got an integral of a to the u du. That's cool. It's a to the u um, over ln of a plus c. And yada, yada, yada. You know the rest. Okay, this is one. My goodness, this has shown up again. Students, quizzes, tests, and finals are like, where do I see this? You see it on this calculator program. That's where you see it. So the integral of ln of x dx is x ln x minus x plus c. The universal constant, as it's sometimes called. Okay, um, I think we got everything there. Um, back to the main menu. So look, again, it's at um, mcstutoring.com. M is in Mary, C is in Charlie, S is in Sam, mcstutoring.com. Um, there are discount codes usually on the site. If you just kind of scroll around, you'll find them. Also, I think if you join the uh, email list, you get a discount. And um, we are going to have a bundle pretty soon. So probably by uh, mid-September, we'll have a bundle of this with the Trig Identity Program um, at a very good price. Um, has all the trick identities. And look, if if there's something you want added to this program or the trick identity program, contact me. Um, once you get, buy one of the programs, you'll have my email. You can contact me. Um, just say, hey, man, um, could you add this? And guess what? I'll probably oblige. Okay, take care and good luck on your calculus and your trig. I'll see you next time.